determination of neutral detergent fiber. So this practical is based on Van Swiss scheme of analysis who developed uh, this fiber fraction uh, system uh, because crude fiber have a very little value in case of women and nutrition. So that is why we uh, normally uh, determine neutral detergent and acid detergent fiber content of the feed. So what is a neutral detergent fiber when we talk about the cell components? So within the cell wall there are cell soluble contents which we say they are the cell content. It includes protein, soluble carbohydrates, soluble minerals, lipids, all they are known as cell soluble. So they can be extracted by using NDF uh, solution uh, that contain sodium lauryl sulfate as its active uh, ingredient. Uh, so uh, this NDF I will dissolve all that cell soluble uh, contents. So after the filtration the leftover residue is uh, known as NDF or cell wall NDF contents. Uh, for the determination we need a 600 ml beaker that should be without spout and we need a round bottom flask that will be used as a condenser. We need filter paper for filtration along with the filtration assembly, suction pump and uh, we uh, need uh, crucible uh, for getting that uh, filtrate dry and we need uh, electric heater, oven and uh, for the determination of NDF we need at uh, these regions the first one is neutral detergent fiber solution it is prepared by dissolving 18.6 gram of EDTA ethylene diamine tetraacetic acid uh, along with 6.8 gram sodium tetraborate in a beaker and uh, by gentle uh, shaking uh, if the these two uh, chemical they do not get dissolved we should go for little or gentle heating uh, of the uh, solution. After that 30 gram of sodium lauryl sulfate should be added and then 10 ml of 2 ethoxy ethanol. Later on all these uh, things should be mixed together and then the total, uh, total volume should be make up to 1 liter. So this 1 liter is uh, NDF solution. We need acetone that is required for washing at the time of uh, filtration to wash the residue. Uh, then we need sodium sulfite and had anhydrous of regent grade. Protocol uh, simply weigh 1 gram of dried feed sample and that should be uh, uh, precisely weighed and it should uh, pass through 1 millimeter sieve. So that uh, sample is perfect uh, for NDF determination. So transfer this 1 gram into 100 ml uh, into uh, at least uh, 500 ml beaker and add uh, 100 ml of NDF solution along with 0.5 gram sodium sulfide then start uh, heating on the hot plate. So when material uh, this solution uh, start boiling then count for 1 hour. So boiling should be done for 1 hour. So during the boiling care should be taken that material should not get out of the beaker. So uh, we should go for uh, doing a little swirling the beaker or by using a glass rod uh, we can also do the same. The objective is not to uh, uh, get uh, out of that uh, that sample or material from the beaker. So after uh, one hour of heating then allow it to cool for at least 10 minutes then go for uh, filtration. By using the filtration assembly uh, filter it and uh, by using the suction pump you can uh, improve the filtration uh, process. Then after that uh, the residue left over uh, the filter paper sheet or muslin cloth they should be washed with uh, at least 2 to 3 portion of hot boiling water and then at least twice washing should be done with the acetone. Then collect all that material into a pre weighed uh, crucible that should be a dried crucible. Then add that material and let it dry uh, in the oven uh, at 1 or 3 uh, degrees Celsius till uh, its constant weight is attained. Then we can go uh, do the calculation by using the weight. Uh, this is the formula uh, NDF percent is equal to weight of dry crucible including fiber or filtrate which we have collected after filtration and then A is the weight of the empty uh, tail crucible. Uh, this is the weight uh, which we have taken before adding the filtrate and then the last one is uh, this is the W that is the weight of the sample that is uh, about 1 gram which we have taken at the start. And then cell soluble contents they can be calculated by simply subtracting NDF value out of 100. So that will be the amount of cell soluble constituents.